I developed the film in a very documentary manner in terms of research. It was important to me that I wouldn't work with professional actors. It would have been very difficult to find professional actors for these roles. Right from the beginning, the concept uh, we had was the following one. We wanted to have people in a similar life situation, but they were not to play themselves, but they were to have uh, roles in a feature film. Do you want to say something? Do you, all of you, want to say something about how we did the shooting? Well, uh, during a day of shooting, it was not too stressful. We had a lot of breaks in between, so that it wouldn't be too stressful. And I, I was asking very often, what are we going to do tomorrow or after tomorrow? I was really getting on their nerves, but they would never reply to me. They never told me. No, I always explained the scene on the very same day of shooting, and then we improvised. We didn't do any rehearsals. We started fresh and then uh, this was the way uh, they could uh, use this as a basis um, with all the other things that have happened so far. Well, the title Macondo um, is not something that I chose uh, deliberately. It's a nickname for this settlement. And I started with this location. There is the settlement of refugees close to Vienna. And since the 1950s, um, refugees uh, were settled there, people from Hungary, from the Czech Republic, from Chile. And the Chilean uh, refugees called uh, the location Macondo, so it was up to them. It's not my, uh, what I did. And there's no symbolism to be found in there. I called the film according to the location, and now there are approximately 2,000 people coming from 20 nations who live there. And most of them come from Chechnya, Somalia, and Afghanistan. So um, it, uh, I had the idea that the story should uh, take place in a community that uh, lives there currently. Well, I'd be pleased if I could could continue working in films, and uh, I would love to continue doing films. I'd be pleased to get requests for films. If not, I'll continue with school. <laughs> but it's great to be an actor in between. To me, it was everything was new. Yes, I was involved in the war. It was very difficult to arrive in Austria as well. But thanks to Sudabe, it was very easy to get this work. She did everything uh, as uh, we experience in our real life and also in the life uh, where, from where I come from. But thanks to the director, it was uh, really easy to do it. It was very uh, amusing and uh, being told about an older um, generation. How much did you know about the Chechen conflict before uh, the film? Well, I knew about the war. Uh, I knew quite a lot about this conflict, but uh, that the women were taken away and were forced to get married, this is something I did not know. This was uh, an absolutely new territory for me, as it were.